Hi YouTube, how are you doing and welcome to the Cursed Possessions update for Phasmophobia. There is so much awesome stuff in this update that I cannot wait to go over and also play. Uh, I'm recording this right as we get the patch notes. Uh, the update will be available in an hour, which will probably be very soon after this video goes on YouTube. Uh, in this video, I'm going to cover all of the things that have been added, all of the changes. It's going to be awesome. And then right after this video goes live, I'll be live on Twitch streaming everything all day. It's going to be awesome. I hope to see you there. But first, let us hop into the patch notes and everything that has been changed. This update contains three major things. They are going to add cursed possessions, which are new items that you can use to interact with the ghost. The second thing is that they are reworking basically every single ghost and giving them new hidden abilities. And the third thing is that they are adding a new ghost type called the mimic, which basically copycats other ghost behavior. Uh, now let's go into all of these changes, uh, starting with the cursed possessions, going over the ghost identities, uh, the new things they've added to changes in the bug fixes. Let's start with the cursed possessions. Welcome back. We've got some news for you. Several sightings have been noted of cursed objects in locations where a ghost is haunting. These must be the cause of the ghosts being trapped there. You might be able to use these to your advantage, but be careful. We don't know what they're capable of. We've also had reports of a strange new ghost type, the Mimic, which looks very, very cool. Uh, first, the cursed possessions, the thing in the name of the update, what it's all about. Let's start with that. Several new items have been added. The Cursed Possessions. Each location will feature one of six items randomly chosen at the start of each contract. There are several spawn points for each item, so get searching. I love the way they did this. These items are very powerful. They also have downsides, but they're very powerful from what we have seen so far. And this was basically uh, the... the the way that I hope they would implement them, which is where you only get one out of six instead of just having them all and being a complete overpowered ghost hunter. This will make it a lot more balanced and will make each game completely unique from the others. It's going to be awesome, but let's go over these items. What are what can they do? Cursed possessions trade sanity for information, but be warned. Using these items can cause an additional negative effect. So think carefully if you want to anger the ghost for the rest of the investigation. Something that can actually be really fun and powerful to anger the ghost. Uh, me Music box. Let's go over them. Music box. Reports show paranormal entities singing along to this haunting melody. Don't get too close or you may guess a nasty surprise. I don't know what the surprise is going to be. I hope it's going to be a hunt. I mean, I guess it's going to be a hunt or some kind of jump scare would be also really cool. Uh, so this is going to be a way to find the ghost room pretty easily. If you find this, it's basically as if you used a Ouija board to like ask where's the ghost room. But now you have a music box for that. Um, also, d duly noted, uh, the Ouija board is actually a cursed possession now. So you won't you that will be one of the six possibilities that you get. So you won't always get the Ouija board. So that's actually going to be a much, much rarer item now. But you will always get one of these, of course. Uh, tortured voodoo doll. Force a pin into the doll to trigger a reaction from the ghost. But you may lose more than you gain. I love how freaking like vague they are with this. We have to hop in, but we can't do that yet because the update is like coming out in like 45 minutes. Uh, so yeah, I don't know what this is gonna cost. Probably sanity. This seems to be the easiest one. Uh, and there's also a limit uh, from what it, we've seen in the like teaser. There seems to be a limit to how many times you can force interactions because there's a limited amount of pins in the doll. We don't know if these will replenish, maybe. And then you can use it again later on in the mission. Uh, but that's gonna be really awesome to like force interactions for photos or just getting evidence, EMA5, stuff like that. Or writing, maybe, or dots projector, something like that. Haunted mirror, a visible portal into the spectral realm. There you peer inside to find the ghost's room. This is the one that we actually didn't know about until they teased the update release date, like a few days ago, uh, where there was a mirror in the uh, like screenshot that they shared, and the mirror is apparently used to like see the ghost room. That sounds super cool. I, I like that some of these are meant to find you the ghost room because that can be a very slow and sometimes boring aspect of the game uh, where the ghost is not really doing anything and you can't find it and then you're just like running around an empty building. Uh, however, it's also a creepy aspect of the game. So you won't always get the speed run that part of the game. Sometimes you'll have to do it the slow way. Sometimes you'll have to you be able to do it super fast. So this is really nice. This, cha this changes up the game every single time you play. Uh, summoning Circle. Risk your life by summoning the ghost and trapping it temporarily. Don't stay too long. It'll break free eventually. So this is probably going to be a hunt, like a forced hunt after it. Uh, after you use this. This is probably the strongest one out of all of these because uh, a ghost photo and uh, maybe it counts as a ghost event as well can be very difficult to obtain sometimes. So this will be this will just be a really nice thing. 
uh, to like get a ghost photo, get a ghost event, get EMF five, maybe even get a phantom to like take a photo of a phantom, stuff like that. It's going to be very strong, very fun, uh, but also kind of scary to use, of course. Tarot cards here, a deck of 10, 10 random cards, each with a unique mystical property, 10 cards. We don't know what they'll do yet, so I can't really talk about that, but uh, I can't wait to find out. You'll see all of this, by the way, of course, you'll see all of these things coming to YouTube. So yeah, if you want to Watch this, you can join us over on Twitch or you can just uh, keep watching the YouTube. I'll make sure you're informed. Uh, Ouija board. The Ouija board is now classed as a cursed possession and has received new visuals. So this is gonna make the Ouija board much less of like a staple of ghost hunting because right now you almost always, like especially on Nightmare, you, all, you always get to use it. And it is very strong to control your sanity, to get the ghost room, to answer questions. Basically, a lot of these things that the, that the cursed possessions can do are like, uh, it used to be done by the Ouija board, so I it's kind of interesting that they're making the Ouija board much less of a like prominent item to use. Uh, you must now say goodbye <laughs> to finish talking with the ghosts on the Ouija board, or else. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm definitely gonna forget that and just die. That's gonna be so fun. The Ouija board is no longer guaranteed on Nightmare due to the new curse possessions and ghost identity changes. That's what we're gonna get into next. Uh, the uh, Ouija board will no longer have a chance to fail questions uh the oh whoa that's so good holy shit i almost went over that that's awesome finally holy shit that was so annoying i hated that so much you can actually use the board as like a very like reliable tool rather than it just randomly failing all the time like sometimes you just fail five times in a row and you're like well guess i die uh, so that's very nice the ouija board will no longer play an additional sound when spelling double letters why not that is like gonna make it super vague on knowing when it's double letters interesting huh okay uh, that seemed like a feature but i i guess it was a bug uh the total number of ouija board spawns have been reduced on prison asylum and high school that is very nice uh yeah because these things are going to be very hard to find on the big maps uh we'll we'll see about where they spawn and uh, i'll definitely make a video about that as well uh you can read more information in the journal under the items curse possession section it's very cool so you can learn more about them there which we can't see that yet because the update's not out uh Next thing, the ghost identities, also a huge part, probably the part I have been most looking forward to because the ghosts eventually feel extremely familiar. Like at this point, I feel very familiar with all the ghosts and spicing up every single ghost is going to be so good. So we are, let's go over this. <laughs> Nightmare has been a successful addition to Phasmophobia, but we've all found some ghosts are just too hard to identify with only two evidences. Absolutely. But you've never intended for Nightmare to be a guessing game. Very good. So to combat this, some ghost types have received new abilities, passives, and other adjustments to make them feel more in line with their journal descriptions. Very cool. And most recently added ghosts. Oh, the the, the newest ghosts. Because the newest ghosts are very, like, all over the place and have a lot going for them, whereas some of the older ghosts are just very plain. Uh, Shade. Let's go over all of them. Shade. The shy ghost. Often hiding in plain sight, only showing itself when truly necessary. Okay, this they're gonna be very vague descriptions, I guess. Often hiding in plain sight. Wait, like a ghost event without sound? That sounds. I don't know if that's what it is, but that sounds super cool. Okay, they're just doubling down on the. Oh, maybe they're like. Okay, so it seems like they're just adding. They're gonna add like secret abilities, like hidden abilities to all of the ghosts. That's so cool. I mean, that's kind of what it. But <laughs> it's just so good. Okay, anyway, let's go over. Uh, the shy ghost often hiding in play sight, only showing itself when truly necessary. I hope that's going to mean that it does quiet ghost events, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, Poltergeist, the ghost that loves throwing things. Watch out. Is it going to hit you? Wait, watch out? Is it going to, like, hurt you somehow? That would be cool. I mean, the poltergeist already... This is just so vague. I mean, we'll have to. This seems like I'm gonna have to make like so many videos about all these ghosts. Sorry, I, I, they, they decided to make it vague. I can't know. Like, this is all I have. I can't, I can't magically know what they're talking about. Uh, the singing siren. Oh, finally, they're doing that. Luring ghost hunters near and far. The banshee's rare ability to hunt at any sanity percentage has been moved to the demon. So the banshee loses its one thing, but it's gonna sing? Luring ghost hunters near and far. Okay, so the Banshee is just trashed here now, I guess. Banshee got absolutely demolished this patch. Holy shit. 
Well, sorry for you guys who like the Banshee, who had Banshee as their favorite ghost. It is now long, no longer. <laughs> this is just a shit ghost now. Okay. Well, it has a cool, it has a singing, which uh, people like the screaming, not the screaming, like a Banshee scream, I guess singing. Interesting. Okay. And then the Banshee's ability is moved to the demon. Demon, the most aggressive and dangerous ghost we've ever witnessed, which can now early hunt, but the demon could already do that. I actually, I don't, I not to be negative or anything, but I don't like this one because I think the Banshee having like multiple ghosts early hunt is better than the like the demon already hunt at 75% sanity. It's already just uh, 70, 75. It already hunts like basically as soon as you enter the building, you get like one ghost event. The ghost hunts immediately and like why give it even more? Like it's already crazy. Uh, I feel like, okay, well, we'll see how it goes in the game. Jin. Uh, these ghosts love to chase. Hide before they see you. Finally, they're gonna double down on... Uh, is the djinn gonna speed up faster? Because that is like... Djinns are... Like, the power of the djinn is really not that great right now. Uh, because you break line of sight a lot. And they're just never speeding up to a point where they will catch you most of the time. Uh, like, fast enough. So if they're gonna double down on that, it is gonna be terrifying. Holy shit. Hantu. The, the cold has empowered these ghosts too much. Or so much, it's starting to show. Okay, so we're gonna get a ghost that gonna, is gonna early hunt in this cold now? Seemingly? I just, what, what kind of vague shit is this? Okay, we can't, we can't, I can't know for sure what this means. But we'll, we'll read all these things in the uh, journal. Or if they're gonna be truly hidden, we're gonna have to play games after games after games to figure it out. Uh, Mare. The thing that goes bump in the night, thriving in darkness. Yeah, okay. So they're just they're just describing what these ghosts are already known for, but they're like implying that they're doubling down on these things and making it better. But we can't really know what this is yet. Uh, very vague patch notes, gotta say. <laughs> Oni, uh, new reports show many more sightings. Maybe these ghosts enjoy the fear in people's eyes. Interesting. So many more ghost spawns. That is awesome. I love ghost events, so that's gonna be sick. Onis are, Onis might, like, that might bump it up in my favorite ghost tier, or uh, ghost list. Uh, Yokai, be quiet. You wouldn't want to wake it up. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's what it is right now, so I guess they're just making it even more, uh, dangerous when you're talking. Yure, masters of insanity, making anyone crazy who comes into contact with them. Okay, that is what it does right now very poorly, so I guess they're making that stronger <laughs> this is so vague this has been the vaguest patch notes ever <laughs> holy shit ghosts will now only use their physical form during hunts instead of shadow or translucent form thank you stupid invisible ghosts were so annoying i hated that so much i'm so glad they have removed that that was super super annoying so all ghosts will now be physical or translucent so you'll no longer be in a situation where the ghost is invisible and you die because you couldn't see the ghost that's so dumb so yeah finally thank you uh all ghost abilities have been a Adjusted to make them happen more often and more consistently. That is awesome. Uh, I, th that will make it a lot easier to learn what they are now. Uh, so that's going to be very cool. Oh, man, there's going to be so much to see. <laughs> that's going to be sick. Okay. Uh, new. For the duration of the holiday period, maple campsite weather will always be snowing and has received new seasonal decorations. Let's go. <laughs> Christmas trees on Maple Lodge. The Mimic, the most intriguing ghost type we've ever encountered. More information is available in their journal. I can't have the journal yet, game developers. It, the update's not out. Okay, well, sorry for, I can't. I'm just reading the patch notes, but they are the biggest shit ever. Uh, Two new tabs have been added to the journal for easier... But yeah, so the, the Mimic we know... Let me just go back to that before I just completely skip this. Obviously, we're going to hop into a game as soon as we are able to on stream. And I'll also upload that as soon as I can. Uh, and we're going to read what it actually says. But what we know from the Mimic is that it will uh, basically mimic other ghosts. So it will like copy their ghost powers, stuff like that. That is what we assumed from the page that we saw. Uh, and it looked absolutely amazing. So that is going to be a super cool ghost. I am very excited to check that out. It's basically just going to copycat other ghosts. That's what it's like main thing is. Um, two new tabs have been added to the journal for easier navigations, home and items. Um, so home, I don't know what home is, but items is just going to be also allow you to read about the cursed possessions and stuff like that. Maybe even have like, maybe even show you where you can find them. Probably not. <laughs> uh, several questions have been added to the Ouija board, such as how did you die? Very cool. I'm almost sad, like, now that they have made the Ouija board more interesting, it's gonna suck that you only get it, like, one out of every six games, uh, on average. Uh, 
Almost every object has had its impact sounds replaced to match its material. Cool. Better sounding game. Always nice. New sounds have been added for player footsteps while sprinting on different surfaces. Very nice. Also going to make it clearer when you are stepping and when the ghost is doing footsteps. Because sometimes that's kind of vague. You're like, wait, that sounded very loud. But that's just... Um, because it sounded weird. Uh, so this is going to make it easier to know if you if, like where you're stepping and if it's you stepping or the ghost. Uh, all rugs and floor mats now have collisions. Yes, no more bones. Hi now, they already reworked the bones. But if you have played this game long enough, you know that the bones would always hide under the rugs. And because the bone spawns in, it will fall under the rug, like clip into it. And then you could never find it. Or you'd have to go through like 10 different hoops to find it. Now that will no longer happen. It will lay on top of the rug. Basic physics. Let's fucking go. <laughs> changes. Okay, changes. Several scripts, uh, several scripts, Maple Campsite assets and the weather system have been optimized heavily to help with performance. Very good. All ghosts can now throw objects during hunt, similarly to how they can open doors. Ooh, very cool. Wait, does that mean you could like get an Oni and Poltergeist to walk, like look at them during a hunt with like a cam and then see if they go absolutely bananas? Holy shit, that sounds so cool. <laughs> All ghosts except yokais can now hear your voice from further away, thank you. The amount of times you're just yelling at a ghost going, like, hey, I'm here, and it just doesn't come, and you're like, maybe it's a yokai, and then it's just a miling or whatever or something, and you're just, it's, I, I'm very glad that they did this because it was kind of annoying that you could never lure the ghost over to your location. Uh, ghosts will no longer be able to wander long paths when setting waypoints through walls. Holy shit. That is huge. This means that they have finally nerfed the Tanglewood foyer garage situation where you have a foyer or garage ghost and it will stand near the wall and then set a waypoint through the wall, which will make it go through the utility, kitchen, dining, living room, foyer, and then back. And it will just keep looping the whole building. That it, that happens so many times. They are finally putting some kind of check on that to make the roaming few more localized rather than me having to be have in my brain the whole time, okay, this is a game and the game will set waypoints through walls in this very weird way. And this could happen, that could happen. Now it's just gonna be intuitive for everyone that is super good. Very glad that they did that. Um, you can no longer quickly escape through the exterior doors or gates when the hunt starts. No, CJ, why do you do this? <laughs> so this was the strategy. You often probably see this, uh, where you place the board at the door and then you ask questions, take photos, and then if the ghost hunts, you just back up and then the go and then the door closes. But now it's gonna instantly put an invisible wall there and you can no longer escape. I think that's a great change. I always find it a bit cheesy, but it was just the optimal way to do it. So I'm glad they just removed that so I no longer have to feel stupid if I don't do it and kind of cheesy if I do do it. So yeah, great. Uh, the ghost will now always write in a ghost writing book after throwing it, if it is the correct evidence side except during hunt that is great this is this used to be kind of a way to tell them because it would often do this uh but i have never seen the ghost do this uh at this point or like after the they changed the way the book writing works where it just levitates the book uh that's gonna be awesome because that means that if you see a, bo a book being thrown and it doesn't write in it then you can immediately write it off like oh it's not it's not writing if you're on professional on nightmare that won't really be a thing because you only have two evidences but on professional you could immediately go like okay it, t it touched the door no fingerprints it threw the book no writing it stuff like that that's gonna be awesome that's very cool i like i like things that reward people that pay attention that's really cool uh, you must now take interaction photos of the object that was thrown instead of where it was before the ghost moved it Find Finally, I mean, this is something that I've just completely internalized at this point, that it is just like second nature to me, but it makes absolutely zero sense for new players that you have to take a photo of where the cup was, like an empty photo. Yeah, there was a cup here, I promise, give me money. Uh, but now it's gonna be where the cup landed, which is so much easier to take the photos. That's gonna be awesome. Thank you, developers. Uh, hunting effects on cameras have been adjusted. I hope they're a little less crazy so you can actually use the cams during hunt sometimes that would be nice ghost refreshing fingerprints will now allow you to take an additional photo very good uh if the ghost touched the door it would like keep reapplying the fingerprints so you can never take a second photo now if it touches the door twice you can take two photos which is going to be awesome to fill up the book quickly very nice change uh ghost flickering lights will now be based on the distance of the light itself instead of the light switch wait ghost flickering lights will now be based on the distance to the light itself instead of the light switch okay uh that's just i mean there's sometimes a lot of lights in a room so i guess it would yeah okay very simple um 
Uh, it's going to make it a little harder to know where the ghost is if there's multiple lights in a room, whereas before you would be like, oh, it's around the light switch. Now it's like, could be anywhere in the room. So it's going to be l give you a little less information, but a bit more intuitive, I guess. Uh, footstep sounds are now more accurately synchronized with player and ghost movement speed. That is great. That's going to make it even easier to tell fast ghosts apart from each other. Uh, because you can now very clearly hear like Revenant being slow when it's not chasing or being very fast if it is chasing someone. Uh, so that's going to be nice. The heartbeat sounds volume is now based on the distance from the ghost getting lou louder the closer it is. It would often be on Asylum, you would just have this mega bass heartbeat, um, which would kind of be weird. I don't know if that was just a bug. Uh, but yeah, this is going to now, this is just a nice little change. Uh, hunting ghost sounds will now fade out instead of abruptly stopping. Okay, so when it stops hunting, it will just, it will, like, fade away instead of... Uh, increase the frequency of paranormal sounds being picked up by the parabolic mic. Nice. I have genuinely not seen a single, or heard, a single paranormal sound since the last update. Um, I've also not been using it much, but yeah. Okay, the fixes now. Fix the bug where the right use weakness was only affecting camcorders and cameras. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, the right you basically did not have a weakness. Uh, fix a bug where the hunt duration was being set based on the size of the map you previously played. Also a very funny bug. Uh, fix the bug where heartbeat sound, sound would play if the ghost was too far away. Interesting. Uh, fix the bug where sound would muffle if you walked near the cabin balcony door. Yes, that was just weird. Uh, where the escape from the ghost hunt... Ghost during a hunt objective wouldn't be completed. I think they already fixed that, but I guess they did it again. Uh, fix the bug where several interactions were not giving photo rewards. Very nice, like fingerprints on the light switch finally fixed. Um, the photo camera could be turned on inside the truck. Okay, that was apparently a bug. Uh, fix the bug where smash lights could be turned on by toggling the fuse box. You've seen me do this for, <laughs> probably. Uh, fix the bug where you could hold lit candles outside in every rain. No, CJ, that was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Uh, fix the bug where the ch I did it while CJ was watching the stream, so I probably fucked that one. <laughs> fix the bug where the temperatures inside the campsite toilets were not being set correctly. Okay. Fix the bug where a URA could still change its preferred room if it was smudged very nice, so the URA test will now actually work uh, because the URA doesn't roam when you smudge it, which is going to be now properly uh, done. Fix the bug where the heartbeat sound would play when you were too far away. Didn't you just say that? Am I crazy? Fix the bug where the heartbeat sound will play if the ghost was too far away. If you were too far away. Okay, I guess this is a two-way bug. Interesting. <laughs> Fix the bug where you you were using a second smudge stick within a few seconds of the first. Wouldn't stop the ghost killing you. Thank you. I actually I went crazy on this. I did like two hours of testing because I couldn't know what the heck was happening with this. And I, I it was just so weird. And I, I, I died. And I was so salty that I had to do testing because I knew I didn't mess up. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, fix the bug where setting the master volume slider wouldn't always work. Uh, fix the bug where VR players couldn't hear their own footsteps. Interesting. Fix the bug where some currents didn't have collision, causing a safe spot. No! <laughs> no more hiding on Tanglewood behind that in the boys' room. Feels bad, man. Fix the bug where the model of some lights would look turned on after it flickered. Yes. Okay, thank you. Fix the bug where the shower water in the unsweet of Edgefield was spraying the wrong way. That was so funny. Which right through the wall. Uh, fix the bug where certain map UI and player icons were rotated incorrectly. Fix the bug where photo rewards were being given when they shouldn't be. Okay. Uh, fix several floating books in the high school. Uh, fix several safe spots in prison. I didn't actually know about those. Fix several fans in Asylum having two sets of blades. Uh, fix several rare visual issues on Willow and Richview. All right. With that, we have gone over everything. I absolutely cannot wait to check out all of the ghost identities, all of the cursed possessions. That is the main meat of this, and the new ghost, of course. New ghost, uh, ghost identities, cursed possessions. It's going to be absolutely awesome. They're very vague, so sorry that I couldn't be more clear about what this patch actually entails, uh, but it's going to be very exciting to check out. So I hope to see you on stream. We're going to be going live as soon as this video goes up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Uh, happy hunting. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you liked the video, like it. If you dislike, dislike it. And if you want to join the stream, you can find the link in the description, twitch.tv slash instant. Thank you so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye.